In this video, we're going to show you a demonstration of the Four Moms Infant Tub. So now we have the infant tub here set up in our bathtub. If you want to see a full unboxing video, you can click here. And if right now in this video, we're going to show you how to set up the bathtub and how to use it with our baby. All right, so here's the infant tub. This is the first reservoir of water. So the water is going to come out of the spout and it's going to come into this area. Here is the thermometer. So this is where the water needs to be hitting in order for it to get an accurate temperature read. And it's going to go into the first reservoir and then it's going to overflow into the actual bath where your baby is. You can also see that there is a hole here and that's going to show you when, it, when the bathtub fills up too much the dirty water will run out of the hole in the side, so you continuously will get the clean water um, from, from the clean reservoir here. And it also will ensure that the water doesn't go too high with your, with your baby when they're in the bath. So we're gonna show you how it's set up. Um, so let's take a look. So we have our water on, and we, we're gonna put it so that All right, so we have the water, and see it's hitting the reservoir, it's hitting, and it's hitting where the thermometer is. So we're going to put on the, the temperature, and you can see anywhere in the, when it's green, that is the comfort zone. Green is go. So you'll see that um, it's getting a good read. There are five bars in the green zone, so it's at the second highest bar, but this is what will happen if it gets a little bit warmer. So, uh-oh, it's too hot. It beeps and turns red. Now, alternatively, if it's too cold, it will go blue. So you want to find it somewhere in the green zone. And once it's in the green zone, once it's in the green zone, you're good to close the, the plug into the reservoir. And it's starting, going to start to overflow into the bathtub area. So you'll want to close this plug as well. And then there's a plug on this side to close too. And these plugs are very easy to open and close. So the water is filling, I'll just put it a little higher, and there we go, it's going out of the tub, and it will take out the dirty water. The, also, the tub comes with a um, washing cup that you can wash your, your baby's body and hair with, or for play. We actually like to use the Skip Hop Whale Cup, and we fill it up. And if actually, if we put this on our baby's forehead so it doesn't get in their eyes. We will do a review on that product another time, but it's a great one, the Skip Pop Whale Cup. So I'm going to turn off the water now, and we're going to set it up with our baby. So we'll be right back. So now you can see Tech Baby's in the Tech Tub. She loves her bath time. Um, and as you can see, I've opened this plug on the side, and I've opened that because because she's so little and I want the water to be a little bit a little bit lower for her because she's so little and she loves bath time. And it's a good tip to put a, a warm washcloth on your baby when you're bathing them to help keep them warm. And as you can see, the tub is doing exactly what it's described. It's at a good temperature and the water is in the reservoir and it's going into the main bathtub area. So now we are going to wash our baby. As always with anything baby, especially anything baby and water or bathing, um, you want to make sure you're being safe. You want to make sure you followed the instructions, um, watched all the warnings, and you do not want to leave your baby alone in this tub. You see tech baby tends to kind of turn a little sideways 
And if you're not there within arm's reach, it's definitely pretty dangerous. So you want to just keep as safe as you can. Now you could see, you might be able to see that the water is getting kind of a little bit murky as all the dirt and soap is coming off of her. But um, with this um, double reservoir system, it cleans out really well. Okay, and now that bath time's over, here is how you clean up the tub. So this was on, so we turned off the temperature and we just open up the plugs. So first you open up this one. Then you open up that one and there's a space between the bottom of the tub and the um, bottom of the actual big bathtub that will allow the tub to drain out nicely. So I've got to get that rest in here. Then we just simply flip it over to get all the excess water and dry it out. And it's perfectly ready for next time's use. So thank you so much for joining us on the Tech Couch and we hope to see you again soon. Take it easy.